Hello there, so in this video I'm gonna teach you how to use the dynamic carousel using bot sheets or Google Sheets as your data source. So for this example, I have prepared a Google Sheet with this data. So I have the product name, description, and I have the thumbnail which would represent my image. So for the image, make sure that the image ends in a file name like that JPEG or that PNG. So make sure that it is a valid image. So I have seen um, users that use images uploaded in Google Drive. So images uploaded in Google Drive is not by default publicly accessible and it is um, filtered by Google Drive. So it is not advisable to use that as your image. You must upload the image on a server that that serves the image as it is as a file okay so example here i have the images that is uploaded on my server and all of these are valid image files and it is served as an image not as a proxy image unlike what the google drive does which is a proxy image so it must be a direct image so yeah and we have here more details but not all of them we are not going to use all of them so yeah let's name this google sheet as um, dynamic carousel carousel google sheet source and then next is we are going to add this to our um to our bot sheets so to add this google sheet to our bot sheets all we need to do is go to utilities and then go to bot sheets and then import a new Google sheet. And then what we're going to do is we are going to add or give access, admin access to this email. So click share and then add this, add the email that was supplied here as an editor for your Google sheet and then click send. Okay, share anyway. And then after sharing, what we're going to do is we are going to click the sharing link. We are going to copy the sharing link. And then we are going to input that sharing sharing link here. Another option is just copy the URL and put it in here. It would work the same way. So I'm going to click OK. And then our Google Sheet is now importing. Okay, so we have successfully imported our Google Sheet. So we now have a dynamic carousel source. And then we're going to create a flow. So let's go to Facebook and Instagram. In this example, we are going to use Facebook and Instagram as our chatbot flow. You can use um, dynamic carousel Google Sheet as the source for any channel as well like Instagram and a chat widget. But for this example, let's just use Facebook and Instagram. So go to chatbot flow. And then we are going to create a chatbot so let's create a messenger flow and name this as dynamic carousel with google sheets all right so next is we are going to create a dynamic carousel element and then we are going to configure this dynamic carousel and let's use google sheet as our data source click next and then we are going to select our dynamic carousel data source. And for this one, this is the name of your sheet. So on our Google Sheet, the name of our sheet is Chuck's Burger, as you can see in the screen. So this is what we are going to use, Chuck's Burger, here. That's our sheet name. And then for the operation, what we're going to do is we are going to use the read operation. And for the range, what we're going to do is select all of the select all of the table that contains data like this one so these are all the table that contains your data and then what you're going to do is you're going to copy the range as shown here and then paste it on your range and then test a request okay so we can see that we have 15 items here and these are the data Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to select the data that is shown here for our dynamic carousel. 
So we have product description and then we have the thumbnail and we have the price, regional price. So we are going to use that. So click next. And then for the title, we are going to use the um, the, array, the array item custom variable here. Let's choose title here. Let's find the title. I think the title should be the product name. So let's use the product name as our title. And for our text, let's use the product description. Okay. And it's better if we also add the the price here. So on our dynamic carousel, we have the price, the original price here. So let's use that. So add a custom variable and let's add the original price here. Okay, so after that, I know that my store is using the um, PHP as the um, as the the currency. So let's use Philippine peso as the currency, and then the original price, and then this is the product description, and then for the image, let's use the thumbnail option. So let's use thumbnail here, and then add. Okay, so this is it, and then. For the image redirect, okay, um, let's leave this as blank for now. But um, if you have the the pattern of your store where people click and then they are redirected to your product, then add the image redirect here. So for the button, let's add a button. And for the button, let's use buy now. Buy now. And then... We are going to use web, uh, web URL. And after that, let's add the web URL. And I have a store here. And the web URL is going to be the pattern from my e-commerce store. So this is my e-commerce store. And I'm going to use the web URL, which is this one, the web URL of a product. And as you can see here, the pattern of our product is this one. Okay, so let's use them. Let's use this. That is my um, button. And then add the product image. I, I mean the product ID as our, add the product ID here. So the product ID, this is the custom variable for the product ID. We're gonna add that at the end of our, of our URL. So whenever they click the buy now button, they will be redirected to our product. Okay, confirm. So we have one button and these are the details. And then we are going to confirm the changes. The next thing we are going to add is the trigger so that we can easily test our flow. So let's add the trigger. And then we are going to add a keyword. And let's say the keyword is um, dynamic sheet. So this is our keyword, and then we are going to use the strict mode for this one. So let's save. And then we are going to test this by going over to our Facebook page. We can also use the send test button here to test the functionality of our flow if it is working. Let's wait for the dynamic shell to be sent to us. Okay, so we have now received the dynamic carousel. As you can see, we have here a carousel containing all the images. So we have here the product name, the PHP, and the, the this is the product price. And this is the product description. So that's how you can use the dynamic carousel and use the Google Sheet as your um, data source. So I hope you learned how to use the dynamic carousel with Google Sheets in this video. So see you on our next lessons.